hello everybody on this planet. My light is moving, so if you see me going like this, well now I'm actually doing it, but the light was bobbing back and forth, so that wasn't me. You weren't having like a episode, you were actually seeing something happen. There was, there was some shaky problems. There was, okay. Anyway, anyway, anyway. I don't know what I'm wearing. I don't know what this is. I really don't. I just found it in my closet with all the tags still on. So I decided, you know what, I paid for this at some point in my life. Might as well wear it. I have not gotten my new tank yet, my new reef tank, but I have finalized what three fish are going to be in my predator tank. It didn't take me too long to decide, but it took me a little bit because I don't have that many options and I just could not decide, you know, if I chose this, then... I have no clue what's happening in my tank, hold on. It was just a snail. So I have been talking to you guys about the fact that I will be getting a 105 gallon tank pretty soon here. Um, it was supposed to be sent out a few days ago, but it was custom made. It was a custom made tank and the person I was getting it from was having some problems getting the parts. It was just basically they told me, well you know what, for you know waiting and stuff, we're gonna send you 150 instead. So I'm getting a 150 gallon instead for being patient. I do still live with my family and they have allowed me to move one tank of my choice out of this room somewhere else so I'm either gonna do the seahorse tank out in the like living room or something or I'm gonna do this predator tank out in the living room haven't decided which one yet so this predator tank I'm working on is going to be um, replacing my 30 gallon reef tank the reason I decided to even do a predator tank is because I have a lionfish in my 30 gallon it is a dwarf fuzzy not one of those giant lionfish don't worry I'm not that stupid it's in there and he can't really I don't want him going in the 150 I want him staying by himself and I decided you know what instead of having the 30 gallon all just to him I'm gonna get some other predators that I won't be able to get in my 150 because they're predators and not reef safe fish so I have decided on my three and I actually already have them. The only thing that makes them not reef safe is the fact that they eat crustaceans and snails and you know small fish. I don't have that problem in this tank right now. Yes I do have some small fish but the predators are also very small and by the time they grow these things will be far gone. They're gonna be out of it. I'm not really concerned about any fish eating other fish right now and I don't have to worry about crabs because my lionfish already ate all of my crabs months ago. You probably clicked this video just to see the inhabitants in my predator tank and now you're you know like three four minutes into this video and you're like shut up already just show me okay so I'm just gonna go ahead and interrupt myself and start showing you my fish so since last night I have decided to just go ahead and keep a close eye on one of the three predators in this tank but let me go ahead and show you all of them and I'll get to that in a minute so my first predator in this tank is a lionfish he is my dwarf fuzzy I named him Zazu yes I name some of my fish I've had Zazu for close to a year now and I love him. He's the only reason I actually continued to stay in the reefing hobby. He was a gift from one of my aunts. When I had to take down my 60 gallon, I could not bear to part with my lionfish. So I went ahead and bought a bio cube and to keep then him. I decided, why would I ever quit this hobby? I love it. He's the reason I even have saltwater fish. I love him. And he's the reason I'm keeping this 30 now that I'm getting the 150. The second inhabitant in this tank is a blue dot jawfish. I am in love with him. I've only had him for a few few weeks but I am crazy about him. He is absolutely awesome. Okay now this last one is actually something I got yesterday and I may not be keeping due to the fact that I have a jawfish and I'm sorry but the jawfish wins over this eel. So I have an eel now. It's a snowflake eel. Generally you see them in tanks about 50 gallons but this is a 30 gallon. Um, because this tank is a predator tank that's just going to be a bunch of caves, I feel like the snowflake eel will be okay in here because they don't move too much, they just come out at night to hunt, and with all the caves I'm going to be providing in this tank, I felt like he was going to be okay. But the fact that my jawfish also makes caves on the ground, lives on the ground, and fights over the same territory as the eel, I am now worried for my jawfish's well-being. There are a lot of people out there that say jawfish and eels just aren't compatible because of the fact that they live in the same area and will fight over the same area. So I'm just going to keep an eye on how they do for the next, you know, about a week or so. If they continue to argue over space, I am going to give the eel back and probably just get like a little tiny puffer or something for the tank 
because I do not want my jawfish to get hurt. I don't want any fish to get hurt in this and I will find a new home for the eel if need be. So yeah, that is what I'm doing to that tank. So excited and so anxious to get all of this fixed. It is a huge project for my room. I'm gonna have to tear down my seahorse tank, have to tear down my 30 gallon tank just to move it because it's not gonna move when it's full. I'm gonna have to set up a whole new tank. It's just, I'm gonna be doing a lot of stuff. I'm just, I'm gonna be doing a lot of stuff and it's gonna be crazy, but I'm gonna try to keep to a consistent uploading schedule. I sincerely apologize to everyone that I have not gotten around to making like a consistent uploading schedule, but with my life, it's not that easy. It's not like all I do is, you know, vlog. It's not like I can just be like, hey guys, I'm gonna do my vlogs three times a week at this time because I know, I, I know I'm gonna be free. It doesn't work like that. Instead of that, it's, hey guys, I have one, two, three, Tanks, uh, a seventh on its way, and then I also have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine habitats to take care of on top of that. I don't know when I'm uploading stuff, but I'm gonna do it every week for sure. I just don't know which day, which week. I don't know why I've been using my hands so much lately. I feel like Donald Trump. <coughs> That's what's been going on here. Before I end this video, I am going to be doing some unboxings from my P.O. box, but instead of it being um, like the fan mail and everything, it's just gonna be from one specific company that sent me like, they hooked me up. Like, this company hooked me up on the real gotta stop that hand thing. I did not ask for any of this stuff to be sent to me. I did not, you know, work with them or anything. They just, out of the generosity inside of them, decided, let's send this girl all this stuff. All of these boxes over here, there is five boxes from Bulk Reef Supply. They hooked me up on the real, on the real real, on the super real. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it all on video so we can see what we got here. If they're all empty boxes, well, whatever. First is this weird, long, white box. Let's see what's inside. Oh my god, where is this going? Oh my god, why is my camera falling down on me? Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna go find scissors because this is stupid. Let's get this weird big box open because who knows what it is. Is this gonna be? Because I do not know. I do not know what it's going to be. Mamma mia, so papilla. They really don't want me opening this. I swear. Are you freaking kidding me? They sent me a freaking protein skimmer. They sent me a freaking protein skimmer. What the heck? I was gonna buy one of these. What? Honestly though, on to box number two. This is like fish Christmas right now. Y'all guys gave me fish, y'all guys gave me fish Christmas. Y'all are like fish Santa. I believe in Santa again, because of you guys, even though this says bulk resupply. Kovu, what are you doing awake? What the? What the freaking freak? Y'all guys like hooked me up on the real, real good, good. They sent me some new DI canisters, which is awesome because I have an RODI unit, but it only makes like 50 gallons and it's really old and I got it used and crappy. And this is a new deionization. And it's a new. Thank you for sending me this. Y'all guys are so awesome. I don't know what I said to deserve this thing. Third box. I think one of these boxes, yeah, one of these boxes is just a reef mix, like salt water, that'll start at my tank. So this is the second to last box that I have to open. Sorry if my lighting's really bad, I don't know what's happening. Why isn't it focusing on my face? Fish Christmas, fish Christmas. I don't know if my heart can handle my fish Christmas. Are you freaking kidding me? A freaking brand new one. They sent me an amazing new RODI unit. This makes 150 gallons per day. Mine only made 50 and it was crap. I, I flooded my floor twice. That's not that's not the RODI canister's fault, that was my fault. But seriously, it's gonna cost $2,000 to re, you know, redo my floors because I ruined them. So I really appreciate the fish gods for forgiving me. Hopefully I won't flood anything with it. Why are y'all guys so cool? I literally bought a float valve, like not like, I spent $50 on a float valve not too long ago. Okay, now for the last one. This is the big box. It's an avocado. Dang. Have y'all guys seen that vine though? It's so funny. Pulls it out and he's like, oh, it's an avocado. Okay, I'm gonna shut up. They sent me magnesium sulfate, magnesium chloride. They sent me soda ash, which this helps with alkalinity. So like, oh, now it's really dark. The what? 
What the what? Why can't I get my lighting right? This helps with alkalinity, and then they also sent like the little, the little funnel I use to add it to my water. They sent me magnesium, and then they sent me calcium. So this is gonna help dose my tank on the good good. I don't know what this says. It says one bar set made in Italy. Who guess what that means? But I don't know. I just want to know real quick though. Why did y'all send me a manual? Manual? That's not in English. Is this like a test to know like how well I know my fish stuff? I don't know what any of this says. <laughs> the instructions do not operate the pump with wet hands or feet. What did y'all give me that I can't have wet feet to use? Wait a second. This is a doser for like dosing like dosing my tank with like anything any of the nutrients with any of the elements and Stop. I'm sorry. I'm like speaking like an illiterate person, but seriously, I actually needed a doser for such a big tank, so I am so pumped. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's what this is. I'm sorry if I'm wrong, but you know, your manual was in French, Italian, and Spanish, but not English. Um, other than the part that says not to put my feet in water before using the product. I will make sure not to do that, and I'm going to use this like it is a doser for the aquarium. And if I'm wrong, I'm sorry. You send me English, you send me Italian instructions, Italiano. But I'm gonna use it like it's a doser. So hopefully it's a doser and not like a, I don't know, something that's not a doser. Go send me another one. Now I can do, okay. I'm, I'm gonna go with it, this is a doser. Oh, it is English. I'm just blind. There's an English section. And I didn't see all of the English words. And on to the last box. Y'all hooked me up. They literally sent me like. Like they literally like. They literally sent me everything I could need to make my water the best of the best. So my fish are going to be swimming in fishy paradise now. Cause they got that top quality water. I want to set it all up already, but I don't even have the tank yet. So now this one is has a GFO reactor and a carbon reactor, and I'm probably gonna just put this in my sump. Um, if not, I'm just gonna put it next to my sump. It depends on the space I have in my room. Y'all just y'all hooked me up. Y'all are gonna make my tank so cool. A big thank you. I don't even know like thanks. Like what do I say? Thanks for all the stuff, guys. I I don't know. Here's a high five. Like, I don't thank you so much for everything. If y'all guys want to get some stuff off of Bull Grief Supply, they sent me a coupon code the last time they sent me stuff. And it was We Love TND. And you can use that at the checkout because TND is me. That's me. I'm TND. If you use that at the checkout, you get like 15% off, I believe. Anything over 75. So, or $15 off 75. I don't know. You get money if you spend $75. You get money back. So. That's some cool, cool stuff. I heard my phone go off, but I don't know where it is. I know when my phone go bling. That means someone's mad at me. Or not texting back fast enough. I want to die. Don't do that. While I stay in this weird outfit, I want to talk to you about one more thing. The reason I'm going to be talking about that in this video is because I've been wanting to talk about this for a while now and keep forgetting or my videos end up being too long. And I feel like even though this video is probably way too long, I should do it anyway, because I've been meaning to do it for a long time now. Okay, now that I got everyone's attention by being incredibly annoying, I am going to show you guys a website in which I am going to be in I should have like written this down before I, before I said all this. I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to use a website that I'm gonna be using but I can't even speak. So in this video, I'm just gonna quickly introduce a website, like mention it, and then in this next video, I'm going to show you how to use it, just because I'm running short on time here. Not really that there's a time limit, but I mean, come on, after so many minutes, how much more do you wanna see me talk? I'm going to mention it in this video, kinda give you a quick rundown, and then in another video, I will show you the full how to use it in my next fish video, because I feel like it goes with fish since it's a fish website, you know. A good friend of mine is working on a website where it's basically like social media for aquarists and people who have tanks and are in the reefing hobby and in the saltwater hobby and in the freshwater hobby and just for whatever reason and for whatever, you know, style, they just like having boxes of water with fish in them in their house. And my friend made a website for that. So we're gonna talk about that because I'm gonna be going on there 
pretty regularly and I'm going to be updating like all my tank builds and tracking all that and you know taking all guys through some you know extra stuff about my fish stuff that I just don't have time to do in every single video like there's too much to talk about with my fish and I can't give y'all guys every single update in all my videos now we are going to go on my laptop ignore that I don't know what I did to that actually I do know what I did it's I just I, I screwed up so if we go to my laptop I know y'all guys probably love this you know it's just gorgeous um, here's a GoPro video that I cuz I just got a GoPro uh, here is Kovu let's see I just got this GoPro so I'm like testing it out and stuff there's there's Kovu on his really really filthy wheel I cleaned that wheel not even 24 hours before that He's, he already screwed it up. There's him running because that's all he ever does with his life. Anyway, that's not why we're on my computer. Okay, let's go to Google Chrome and let's go to the website. Now the website is called My Aquarium Life. Not just my, I just looked up my. It's not my, my, it's My Aquarium Life. Okay, I promise you I'm gonna give you a better walkthrough of all this, but right now I'm just trying to give you the uh, very quick just how to sign up on here basically so on here it's I mean I haven't really done much of anything um, I have a friend request though so let me let me accept that friend request I'm just too popular I'm too popular you can go to your page everyone gets their page you can all create you know a page share all your fish stuff all that good good that's what it's for um, this is my page I you know just started using it of course it lets me know who I became friends with you can post videos on there I just post my own YouTube videos because that's what I do but I also I'm also gonna post like bonus videos on there that like you ain't gonna see nowhere else and then I got albums of my fish you can also join this is really where everything is gonna happen for my fish stuff there is a community page that you can join and watch me and then on there you can track all of my tank builds because I'm gonna be posting it on the community page and then my page is gonna be more of like just little things and things like that on my page we can have conversations all of you guys can talk on there about things you see I can post photos all that good good and um, there's my dead seahorse rest in peace I love you, Misty. Sorry, I'm talking weird. I, it's really late, and I've been on a weird sleeping schedule, so I'm like half asleep right now, but I've been wanting to do this for so long that I want to at least get this out there. Um, anyway, we can all make your own pages. There's a bunch of different sections on the website we can go to. If you go to the community tank section, this is where there's different communities. You can make communities for each area, like where you live. There can be a San Antonio, Texas saltwater community. And of course, there is my community because I rock and I get my own community. Okay? But we can all make, you can all make your own communities and, you know, get people to join so you can see, like, local things going on, blah, 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 blah. There's a poll section, there's a video section, there is a forum section. The cool thing about this website is it isn't just a big forum, it is basically social media with a forum within it. So you can have your own account and page and share things and also go on forums and ask questions and share things like that. So it's not just a forum, which is what most aquarium websites are right now. There's a photo section where you can share... All the photos, um, this is people's profile pictures. There's profile pictures, there's people's fish tanks, there's a seahorse, um, there's me, there's all this stuff. I, okay, you get the point. My camera overheated, so it was basically just telling me to stop. Um, Y'all guys get the point though. That's just me quickly running it through so I don't make this video too, 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 too long because I'm sure it's already really stupidly long. There's gonna be a bunch of fun stuff I share on that site that you won't see me sharing other places, so. You can check that good good out if you wanna. Even if you don't want to, you should do it anyway. Because that'll be cool for me and my friend. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and please make sure to subscribe if you haven't subscribed. This is my job now, so please support me because I need money to live and keep these animals alive. No pressure or anything. I just need you guys to subscribe. And uh, thank you guys for watching. You'll see me next time because I won't see you because I can't see you. I'm talking to a screen in my room with no one else in here because what is my life? I don't have one. Bye. 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 I look like a freaking bird right now. What am I doing? And yeah. Thank you for subscribing. I don't know where my eel went. <laughs>